Hello, my name's Keen. Um, I've been working in the beer industry for about 12 years now. Um, I've worked for Guinness in Dublin. I now work for Heineken Malaysia. Um, I've been in Malaysia three years. Um, no day is, is the same, if I'm honest. Uh, my main job is obviously focusing on our, our quality agenda. Uh, we run a lot of quality training programs where we educate our, our bar staff, our trade partners on how to serve quality beer and what makes our, our beer the best. Um, but also on the other side of the job, I spend a lot of time in, in market, making sure that the beer that our customers get um, is 100% and they're getting a perfect pint. The, the brewing process is, is pretty much the same for, for a lot of our beers, but we use different ingredients along the way. Essentially, when we brew beer, we use a lot of water. And the first thing we do is we get our main raw ingredient, which is our barley. Um, we use a lot of barley in the, in the brewing process. It gives us the color, it gives us the flavor that we want in the, in the beer. We, we boil that barley um, and then we move that barley grain once it's been boiled to the next stage where we, we add hops, which for me, hops are like the spice that you add to a food. Um, there's 300 different types of hops in the world that give different flavors, different aroma, different levels of, of bitterness. Um, once we've boiled the beer and we, we've brewed the liquid, uh, we then move into the magic of, of brewing beer, which is fermentation, where we add yeast, we let it do its thing, um, and then a few days later, then we have our, our beer that's fermented, um, and then during that process is when we get our alcohol and, and CO2 and a lot of end flavors then as well. Um, and then obviously, a big part of my job as well then is the quality checks that go into, into the beer um, before they get sent out into, into market. In terms of the difference, I suppose, between brewing Heineken and, and Guinness, um, it's essentially similar brewing process, different times, different temperatures, and, and different ingredients. So the Guinness we all know and love will use obviously a, a darker uh, barley to give it that different color, darker color, different rich flavors, um, different levels of hops to give more, more bitterness. Um, but then of course for our, our ciders, for example, we, we don't use uh, barley or hops, we're using, we're using apples. Um, and then for our wheat beers, we, we get to play around with, with different ingredients like you know mountain herbs and, and, and wheat instead of, instead of barley then as well. So we have a massive selection of, of beers here in, in Heineken Malaysia um, that have different brewing processes and, and different ingredients used. If I'm on a hot beach, I might like a cool, refreshing, you know, cider or, you know, if it's a hot day after work, definitely a refreshing Heineken Lager, but, you know, a cold, wet day, which unfortunately we, we got a lot of here in Malaysia, probably a Guinness Stout for me then as well. Um, and if I'm looking for something to, to pair with food, I'd, I'd go for an Idlewise to, again, bring that refreshing taste into it. So I don't have one, one favorite beer. It depends on the, depends on the situation and where I am. For me, it's, it's definitely uh, probably Nasi Kanda or, or Nasi Lamak for, for me then as well, yeah. yeah. I have lots of different styles of, of food that I like. I love, I love a roti for breakfast as well, so uh, I can't pick one because I'll, I'll upset too many people. <laughs> um, what I pair with my Nasi Lamak because uh, naturally Nasi Lamak comes out a little bit too spicy for me. Um, I definitely need a, a cool, refreshing Heineken or a Tiger, definitely a larger style of beer to, to quench that spice. And uh, yeah, balances really, really well with a, a bit of hot food.